Hi, Carl Winkler here at Electrosonics, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the new IFB R1B receiver pack and its associated charging dock system. This is an exciting new product family that replaces a nearly 20 year old design. First, what I want to show you is how the R1B and the older R1A are similar. Both units are 100% analog and utilize a narrowband signal with plus or minus 20 kilohertz maximum deviation. This means that the new receiver packs are totally compatible with the existing IFB T4 transmitters or any digital hybrid wireless transmitter operating in IFB compatibility mode as long as they're in the right frequency range. The audio bandwidth is the same with both units. They're designed for speech, not music. That said, the new receiver is quieter and sounds better due to the much newer design. They both provide mono audio. Both units are made from the same tough aluminum case. The new one is just about half as tall and about half the weight of the old one. Both units are made in the USA in our factory in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Both units have a knurled aluminum knob with a protective shroud to prevent accidental changes to the volume. And the new one has an anodized finish instead of the older powder coated case. Okay, so let's talk about what's new in the IFB R1B. For as long as I've been at Electrosonics, we've been asked for a smaller IFB receiver. And here it is. As I mentioned just a minute ago, this unit is just over half the size and weight of the older one. On the top panel here, you can see the headphone jack, and next to it, the blue link LED showing you that it is receiving a good signal. Next to the knob is the power battery status LED, similar to the one on the R1A. The R1B ships standard with a wire belt clip, and users who want the clamp style clip can get the IFB R1B BC SL, which attaches with two small screws. The UHF versions of the IFB R1B tune across three standard Electrosonics blocks, just like the SRC, SM Wideband family, and several other products from the past few years. We're making these in the A1, B1, and C1 bands. In addition, we're making a VHF version that covers the same range as the old one, 174 to 216 MHz. And we're making one in the 941 band as well. Next is the battery. The old one used a 9 volt battery, while the new one uses a rechargeable lithium ion cell. This is the same battery used in our SSM transmitter, the LB50. We source these directly from the manufacturer so we know the quality is good. The runtime for a fully charged battery is 8 plus hours. And perhaps the biggest news of all is the accessory charging dock system. The CHS IFB R1B module can charge up to four units or four batteries in any combination. And for larger installations, these can be docked together with up to four units off a single power supply to charge up to 16 batteries or units in any combination. As you can see, this is a huge advantage for any fast-paced environment where you have people who just come in, pick up their receiver pack, and use it. When they're done, they can just turn it off and slot it back into the charger. You're all set. Next up in the differences with the new unit is the display. We finally moved past the hex switches. In fact, the IFB R1A was the last model of anything that we made that used them. The R1B uses the same backlit LCD as the SM series and SSM. Here, you can see that the frequency can be displayed or the preset number. Speaking of presets, the IFB R1B allows you to program up to 10 presets and the steps to add or delete them are simple. Probably the most common method people will use is to choose a frequency to match a particular transmitter or one from a coordinated list, then go to the preset screen, select a slot, and then save it by holding preset and pressing the up arrow. To delete a preset, just hold preset and press the down arrow. Now when scrolling the preset list, only those slots that are programmed will show in the list. As you can see, the IFB R1B has some very exciting new features. Most of all, the dock charging capability and the small size. The LCD and the new preset feature are just icing on the cake. Want to learn more? Download the data sheet and the manuals from our website and visit your dealer for a demo. 
I'm Carl Winkler. Thanks for watching.